Wow! This huge and incredible animal is the Hickory Horned Devil or Citeronia regalis. Other names include the Royal Walnut Moth or Regal Moth and they are one of the biggest moths found in the United States. And guess what? I breed them as pets. Truly they are amazing animals in every regard. Even cuter than their wings though is their adorable little faces. This is what a close up of their face looks like. Don't you think that's really cute? Well I for one do. However when it comes to breeding insects in captivity, sadly, sometimes things can go terribly wrong. And it did this time. Oh my god, this poor deformed thing. I'm sorry for showing this to you guys. I know it may seem disturbing, but this is the reality of life sometimes. Its eyes, its legs, its face and body appear to be atrophied. Its antennae were absent. It also appeared to be making compulsive twitching motions, like a zombie. The reason I decided to show you this to you guys is to make you aware of the fact that nature is not always as pretty as it seems. Life is intrinsically flawed and many of the developmental processes that can form a moth can fail due to internal or environmental factors. Here is the zombie moth versus a regular hickory horn devil, just to see the comparison. Yikes, that's quite a difference don't you think? I wonder what went wrong. The moth also seemed to leak a white fluid from its head. It had only just emerged from the pupa and was already rapidly bleeding to death. Several hours later the moth was already dead, having lived only about one hour after enclosing from its pupa and immediately dying afterwards. Bart Coppens, why do you want to show this to us? A deformed moth that only lived for one hour? That was malformed and bleeding to death? Why do you want to show this to us? Isn't this depressing content? Doesn't watching this kind of content make your day worse instead of better? Well, here's the thing. If you are a moth breeder, then there's a lot of odd things that may happen to your animals in captivity. And that's not exactly my fault. Life is intrinsically variable and life is intrinsically flawed. The appearance of a moth is shaped by many genetic, internal, but also many environmental or external factors. You know, it's the genotype and the phenotype theory, if you're familiar with biology. And what exactly went wrong here is hard to say. It may have been an intrinsically um, an internal difference, such as maybe a hormonal imbalance um, due to a certain condition, due to a certain, uh, well, basically a genetic alteration. But it could also have been environmental. Maybe its development in the pupa was disturbed due to a pathogen or maybe to something else. I don't know. Um, fungi, bacteria, microorganisms, maybe just stress, maybe certain conditions in its environment. It's, it's impossible for me to say why it happened, but I want to show you, I want to show people that nature is not always as pretty as she seems, and breeding moths in captivity is also not always as pretty as it seems. There's a lot of weird and freaky things that can happen to an animal or any living organism that may alter its development or appearance. And this zombie moth was just so weird. I just had to share it with you guys, honestly. I hope it doesn't depress you too much or you think it's gross or disturbing. But yeah, that's it.